People get married every day, but very few tie the knot on a hospital bed. That unusual circumstance put Jake and Kristen Casper in the limelight, but now a year later, their lives have new meaning. The Caspers are like any typical family, cooking together and enjoying mealtime with their kids. But a year ago, neither of them could have imagined living a normal life. <laughs> Jake and Casper has cystic fibrosis. He's been in and out of the hospital since he was 17 years old. After his body rejected his first double lung transplant, he found himself back at a medical center. I was, you know, pretty scared, really nervous that maybe they wouldn't accept me for a second transplant. I mean, I don't think any of us knew if he was going to make it through that or not. Another complication for Jaken was finding the right time to ask Kristen to be his wife. I just thought that, you know, now, now or never kind of thing. He couldn't ask her because of a tracheostomy, so he wrote his proposal on a piece of paper. But I used to kind of tease Jaken for not being very romantic all the time, but I think I, I can't really do that anymore. The hospital chaplain performed the ceremony, and a month later, Jaken was matched with another donor. We have so much to be thankful for. Now, almost a year later, their lives are returning to normal, and they have no regrets. Jacob means a lot to me. I mean, he is one of the best, like, most good-hearted people I've ever known. He's very special to me, and I couldn't imagine my life without him. This will be Kristen and Jacob's first Thanksgiving as a married couple. And then I'll make regular green beans and you can make green bean casserole. <laughs> They're planning a big feast with lots of family and friends and are forever grateful to a special young man who can't be there in person. Well, I kind of try to live my life like my donor's watching me. The Caspers just bought a new house and say they're looking forward to the new year.